Every day, about 1,500 flights depart from the United States to Europe. Most of these flights use a single route over the Atlantic Ocean, a kind of invisible highway in the sky. This invisible highway was discovered nearly a century ago by a Japanese meteorologist named Wasaburo Oishi. In 1920, he sent weather balloons into the sky and noticed that there was an invisible force at an altitude of 30,000 to 40,000 feet that carried the balloons eastward at a very high speed. The world didn't pay much attention to Oishi's research at the time, but an event that happened during World War II would change that. In April 1945, six friends went for a picnic in the American state of Oregon and found a large balloon lying in the forest. They were excited about their discovery, but what they didn't know was that the balloon was actually a bomb that had been launched by Japan across the Pacific Ocean. The bomb exploded, killing all six friends. The investigation into the incident revealed that Japan had launched nearly 9,000 balloon bombs across the Pacific Ocean. About 300 of these bombs reached the United States, carried by strong winds at an altitude of 30,000 to 40,000 feet. These winds, which are now known as jet streams, travel eastward at speeds of up to 250 kilometers per hour. Jet streams are created by the difference in temperature between the equator and the poles. The air at the equator is warm, while the air at the poles is cold. This temperature difference creates a pressure gradient, which causes the air to flow from the equator to the poles. The Earth's rotation deflects this airflow, causing it to curve and flow eastward. This is why jet streams are found in the upper atmosphere, where the Earth's rotation has a greater impact on the airflow. Jet streams are not fixed in location. They can vary in strength and position from day to day. This makes it difficult for pilots to plan their routes. However, the air traffic controllers at the North Atlantic Tracks, NATS, have developed a system that helps to keep planes safely separated while they are flying in the jet streams. The NATS system divides the Atlantic Ocean into six sectors, each with its own air traffic control center. The centers track the position of all planes in their sector and issue instructions to pilots to keep them safely separated. The NATS system is very effective at keeping planes safely separated. In fact, there has not been a single mid-air collision over the Atlantic Ocean since the system was implemented in 1965. Thank you for watching.